Hello, my name is Bruce Harrington, and I will be the teacher for uh, Pacific Northwest history this year. Uh, it is also known, or has been known in the past, as Washington State history. I prefer to refer to it as Pacific Northwest history because long before it was Washington State or Washington Territory, uh, there were indigenous people who lived here, and this was their land, and their cultures were here. So the history extends long before the pioneers or the explorers ever arrived on the soil. Uh, Pacific Northwest history is a graduation requirement. Um, it must be passed either in seventh grade or taken again at the high school. More about the requirements in a moment. Um, my grading practices are G4E, grading for equity. For years, I have been grading according to Common Core standards. That the standard presented to us is the three. Um, working towards that three is a two. And uh, being a novice is a one. So we build up from the one to the two to the three, and the three is where we want to be by the end of the year. Um, with that said, if the goal is that you will understand and know mountain ranges, there's a number of ways you could show your knowledge of the mountain ranges. You could show all of the mountain ranges. You could show one of the mountain ranges. You could do it on paper. You could do it using Google Maps. Um, you could show a short video about something that you created. You could make a pic collage. There's more than one way to meet the standard so that every student can achieve. Part of G4E grading is that homework is not part of the grade. It is like practice for a musical instrument or ballet or a sports team. That it is practice and it helps you prepare for the assessment. Um, as I said, I am here. Every assignment can be modified um, and I will work my best to modify any assignment as it is needed. This year we'll be uh, addressing the history of Washington. We'll be understanding the geography and the geology of the place that we live. We will be studying the tribes, tribal culture, tribal government. Um, how are the tribes on the plains different than the tribes by the coast? And um, how are they different and how are they similar? What is cultural similarity? Um, what are aspects that we have, um, we have been passed down to this day? Then we'll talk about the explorers and then we'll end up with the pioneers and the establishment of Washington as a territory. And then the formation of the state of Washington and the formation of our government and the constitution. By early spring, we should be at World War II, and we will be talking about the Japanese internment and the uh, cost it had to our region. All in all, the, the purpose of this course is to understand the geographic region in which we live, understand all that has to offer, um, the people of uh, the indigenous tribes and the people who have come since. We, our goal is to appreciate the rich variety that our state has to offer and the cultural, religious, economic, geographic differences there are from border to border. Um, I hope that we can have a, a great working relationship between the home and the school so that your child can succeed. Please feel free to email me uh, with any concerns you have. As I said, that any, any assignment can be modified so it can be achieved by the students. G for E, grading for equity, means that every student should have the same opportunity to achieve the best way they know how. We each have different skills, we each have different gifts. And how do we use those skills and those gifts to show our understanding of the subject at hand? I think that's it. I look forward to 
working with you this year. Um, again, if there's anything that I need to know, please feel free to uh, contact me. I do know that in of all my years of teaching, this has been the most difficult year, even though we're on week three, um, and I see that students have a great deficiency, not necessarily in academics, but in social emotional learning. How do they be as students in the class? And I'm finding that I'm having to go back three or four steps and help them understand the skills they need to be successful to master the task at hand. Some of that is just basic. How am I a student in the class? How do, how do I be in the class with other students? I feel those little Zoom screens where it was sort of like the Brady Bunch. Um, they didn't have to interact with each other. And the short time that we were together in the spring, I don't think was long enough for us to reestablish all those connections. And I think this year there'll be quite a bit to have to do. Again, thank you very much. Feel free to contact me, um, and I'm looking forward to a great year. Thank you.